Hey, my name is Mauro Bravo and welcome to 101 Barbers Academy. In this video, I will show you how I perform an easy and efficient mother pompadour with the skin taper. I hope this video can help you out when you perform a similar cut. Keep watching to see how I do this and let's start. In this tutorial, we would like to introduce you to how to make a modern pompadour. This style, as its name suggests, is an updated version of the classic side pop. This is Varum, a model. Varum has featured some morphological characteristics typical of Western Asia. Its hair texture presents very soft waves and although its hair is quite fine, its density and distribution per square centimeter are optimal. Varum presents a series of characteristics very suitable for hairstyles of classic inspiration. So we believe that the modern pompadour will provide him with a perfect combination of elegance and sportiness. To do this work, we must highlight the importance of organizing our procedure well. With this, we will prepare the whole upper section of the skull, dividing it into three parts. To do this, we will first define the exact point where we want the line to be located. And starting from this, we will extract three new sections in the form of a triangle a central triangle, a posterior triangle for the area over the prominence of the occipital bone and finally an anterior triangle for the fringe area. The central triangle starts from the frontal recession area and crosses the skull passing through its highest point until it reaches the line created on the left side. In turn, the posterior triangle is formed by drawing a line that travels from ear to ear and then drawing two new vectors that converge on the prominence of the occipital bone. Finally, the anterior triangle is extracted with its spades on the lateral line and a slightly diagonal division delimiting with the central triangle. We will start the process by extracting a diagonal section on one of the sides. This section should be approximately one centimeter thick as shown in the images. We will work on the first two sections over the right towards the front. From the first section onwards, we will cut each section on a 90 degree cutting plane using the previously cut section as a guide.
repeat this process until we reach the prominence of the occipital bone, as shown in the video. We will then repeat this method on the other side, replicating all the steps already seen. We will continue our work process by connecting the posterior triangle with the sections work on the sides. To do this, we must continue extracting diagonal sections parallel to the side sectioning and brought to 90 degrees so that they are cut with the cutting reference of the sections already cut. Recommend pivoting the sections closest to the central axis of the triangle over the occipital bone. In this way, we will achieve a harmonious fit of the hair. We will repeat the process on the other half of the triangle and conclude this part of the work by checking the center of the triangle. Next, we will work on the upper central triangle, which we will also section diagonally, but cutting this time in a 180 degree plane. 
cutting guide will be extracted from the sections previously cut on the sides. Once the length has been adjusted, we will work the whole of the highest point of the skull in horizontal sections to check that we have proceeded correctly. The intersection of the cutting planes at 90 degrees and 180 degrees will be cut with point cutting technique to soften this union. As a last step for the upper area, we will make slight cut with the texturing razor to provide lightness and movement to the fringe. the hair dryer. At this point it is crucial to achieve a simplified hairstyle so that the model can see how easy it is to do after the haircut. Once this step has been carried out we will move on to the classic taper or fade.
To make a taper, we will start by placing the prominence of the occipital bone. Then, we will use the clipper with number 2 attachment, firstly with a closed blade and then open. From this step onwards, we will integrate the nape with the middle area using the clipper. In this way, we will save time by working more effectively. We will continue with clipper but without attachment and with a closed blade to mark the transparency of the nape of the neck. Then we will open the blade to project the transparency with a subtle turn of the wrist in C motion. At this point, we will continue using the machine with number 1.5 attachment with closed blade. Next, we will use number 1 attachment and change from open to closed blade as needed. any detail needs to be touched up, we will repeat any of the previous steps until a gradual fission from light to dark is achieved. Finally, with scissors overcome technique, we will finish integrating both areas. We will polish those parts with greater density or shading until a perfect transition is achieved.
optionally, we will use scissors overcome technique again, but this time with sculpting scissors. With soft cuts on the end, we will get the hair to settle fabulously. Finally, we will repeat this process on both sides. We will use again the number 2 attachment, blade close, then open. Number 1 attachment with close blade, then open. And to finish, scissors will come. Final detail of the haircut will be the definition of the contours with the trimmer. We will make this finish from the front of the parietal, through the arches of the ears and up to the nape of the neck.
in order to detail the front contour more, we will use the razor to make the lines look much cleaner. selection of cosmetic products that fit this style we will opt for a shiny hair styling pomade and finish with some hairspray to hold the volume of the fringe. We really hope you found our content interesting, stay tuned for more videos, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave us a comment in the box below for any suggestions and don't forget to share our love for men's grooming. Knowledge is power, thanks for watching, peace.